Okay, so first thing you need to do is click on Enable Editing. Um, you can skip step two, no need to rename the file. Step three is change the theme font and style. Change the background style to style four, last option first row. Okay, so we go over here to where it says variants. Go down to background styles and style four. Okay, change the theme fonts to Georgia. Okay. There we go. Okay. Adjust placeholder sizing and text display. Slide one. Okay. And select the title placeholder. So there we go. Change text alignment to left. Okay. Resize the placeholder so the text word wraps on two lines. Uh, let's go back here, align text. What I'm thinking we have to do is say do not overfit. Make sure it says wrap text. I believe so. Okay. Because I'm not seeing an option under here to wrap text. And and I'm not seeing one here under paragraph either. So we'll, we may have to come back to that. Select the subtitle placeholder and change text alignment to align left. There we go. Okay, step number five. Insert two new slides after slide two. So we will go to insert two new slides. We click here once, click there twice with the title and content layout. Okay, actually I'll have to undo those two, uh, come back here, and where it says, see where I, where I was at, New slide here on home and then click here where it says title and content. Now you want to do the same thing again, title and content. Type the following text for slides three and four and dent sub points on slide three. Uh, slide three title is accomplishments. Not duties. Okay, bulleted items. Include only the most impressive details about your career. Quantify your day to day tasks. And for these we want 
and it three times. How many times? What was the result? How much money was saved? Okay. Oops, actually, that I did that in slide number four. What we can do then is take this and drag it up and replace it that way. So that's an easy way to fix that. Slide four title is proofread. And down here we want employers takes spelling and grammar errors as signs of carelessness. Let's be trusted. Or So misspelled proofread. There we go. All right. Step number six: Use preview slides from another presentation. Move your insertion point after slide three. Okay. Open the reuse slides pane. and browse to find resume content one. This was something that should have been downloaded whenever you downloaded the this file here, this PowerPoint file. So I put it in my downloads directory and it's called resume content zero one. Click open. Insert all three slides and close the site. So Insert, insert, insert. Okay, and actually what I did there was wrong. It went after the fourth. So what we want to do is back at, back this out. We then want to put the insertion point here on three, and then click here, click here, and click there. So that's a way to fix that if you ran into the same problem I did. So step number seven is display slide number eight. Adjust placeholders and insert text. So select the title placeholder and change the text alignment to align left. Type success. Resize the title placeholder to fit the text. This, drag it over about like that. Delete the subtitle, uh, the subtitle placeholder. So we just select it and then press the delete key. Okay, step number eight. Click the spelling button. It's under the review tab, proofreading portion. Okay. Correct the following spelling errors redundant. Achievements. Okay. All right. Step number nine apply the reveal transition with a through black from right effect option on all slides. Transitions. We want to apply the reveal transition. Okay, here's the reveal. Okay, I'll get rid of those two over there. So effect options. We want through black from right. And we want this to happen on all slides. Apply to all. Okay, 
print slides as an outline. Step number 10, file, print. Print as an outline. OK. And there we have it.